Welcome to our scene on Ghost Shea disease, represented by, by this football player named Shay, and the fans who are saying, Go Shea! Go Shea! Go Shea for Go Shea disease. So Go Shea disease is one of the lysosomal storage diseases, in which there's a problem with one of the lysosomal enzymes. What is the deficient enzyme in Go Shea disease? It's glucocerebrosidase, represented by the glue over here on the cerebrum on its side with an ACE. So glue cerebrum on its side, ACE for glucocerebrosidase. That's the deficient enzyme in Go Shea disease, and this leads to a buildup of glucocerebroside. Represented by these fans over here, you know, they're not standing on normal benches, they're standing on glued cerebrums on their side for glucocerebroside. That's the accumulated substrate in Gaucher disease. And this accumulation in all parts of the body leads to the symptoms. Let's discuss those. So if you see, the football player is actually throwing the, not the football, but he's throwing the cerebrum on its side to this player over here. This is not a normal player, actually. He's actually a huge liver and a spleen. To help us remember, he hepatosplenomegaly seen in Gaucher disease due to the buildup of glucocerebroside in the liver. This football player is running towards this pan on its side. I don't know why he's running towards it. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing here at all. But it's helping remember pan side or pan cytopenia, the low blood cell count seen in Gaucher disease. On top of the pan on its side is this skeleton guy with roses, or the osteo guy with roses. Osteo guy with roses helps remember the osteoporosis. Associated with that is the avascular necrosis of the femur seen in Gaucher disease. As we see, he has blue by his femur to help us remember the avascular necrosis and the explosions for the necrosis of the femur. Who's this random guy over here? This guy shows up in all our videos of the macrophages, right? He looks like a macrophage, like he's like ready to eat things up. And he's got lips in his mouth in this video, lips in his mouth. That was remember the lipid-laden macrophages seen in Gaucher disease, which re resemble crumpled tissue paper. That's so we have the tiny pieces of crumpled tissue paper over here with the histologic picture of the real lipid-laden macrophages. You may be wondering, how is Gaucher disease inherited? Well, if you take a look at the ground over here, it's not green. Green was over here. Why is it brown over here? I'll tell you why. Someone, I don't know who it was, took Reese's chocolate and smushed it all over the ground. That was, remember, Reese's for autosomal recessive. Gaucher disease is inherited in autosomal recessive fashion. And finally, see one of the fans here is wearing a yarmulke. To help us remember that some forms of Gaucher disease are more prevalent in the Ashkenazi Jews. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the scene on Gaucher disease. Take care.